Hi, Sherry Yannick here, librarian at Social Currents Knowledge and Insight Center. Today, I'm going to teach you how to log into EBSCO, which is a powerful database that will give you access to lots of great resources, including reports, newspaper articles, magazine articles, journal articles, and so much more. So you're going to come here to Social Currents Hub. So you've logged in, you're going to click on the Knowledge and Insight Center. The Knowledge and Insight Center, or the KIC, is the home of the library. You'll see lots of great resources, including recently added articles to our library catalog. But today we're going to scroll down to where it says Business, Research, and Media Databases and click on Search EBSCO Host. This is how you access it. You'll land on a landing page that's going to give you some basic um, tabs at the top for EBSCO. And then down below, this is the main search bar. I usually go straight to clicking on advanced search. This way you get all of the options that you want to search on one page. Over here, you can see, you can filter it here by text, by author, by title, by subject terms, um, by the, the publication itself. I usually like to go straight into the abstract. By doing this, I immediately limit to what the article is actually about. So right now, I am doing some research on bias. And as you see, I typed in bias, and I'm doing it on bias in education. So you could see it says bias, or prejudice, or discrimination. Or if I scroll down further, or stereotypes, or stigma, or attitudes. I love searching from this screen because it gives me a lot more options, words that I wouldn't have thought of searching. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to keep the and, but if I was looking for or or not, not is very helpful when you're getting a lot of false results. I'm going to keep it as is for this search, and I'm going to put in education. You notice as after as I typed in education, EBSCO offered me a few other suggestions like education or school or learning or teaching or classroom or education system. I'm going to click on that because all of those terms might be really useful for the search I'm about to do. And then I'm going to click on over here and go down to abstract again. Now, if you're really not finding results, you might want to unclick that, but I think this is really helpful if you're trying to find articles that are about this topic. I'm going to click on search from here and let's see what we find up with. Wow, we have almost 300,000 articles. That's a lot and that's not really what I want to look through. So I'm going to click over here and I'm going to limit it to full text. That means limit it to, limiting it to any articles that are just the full text of this um these kind of publications. It makes it a little bit easier for um, searching and limits your results a lot. You can see I really limited the results a lot. My first result is in Turkish, which I don't read. So I'm actually going to scroll down here and find language. And I'm going to click on English just to kind of weed out any languages that I don't know. Um, and that's a really good thing to do if you're getting a lot of false results or not false results, but results that aren't going to be helpful for you. I'm also going to limit it over here by year. So I'm going to search on, I just want the last few years. So I want to just search from 2020 onwards. So I'm going to limit it that way. And let's see what it pops up with. Okay, you can see we went down. Initially, we had 275,000 um, results, and now we have 20,000. Still a lot. And so we could play around more with limiting it, um, clicking on over here if we want references, if we wanted something to be peer-reviewed. Something else that's really helpful is for source types. So sometimes you want something that's published in an academic journal. Other times you might not want. So you could do media, magazine, news. Maybe you want conference material, trade publication, that sort of thing. Clicking on the subject term can also be really helpful if you're trying to limit it to a particular topic. And you can see this would really cut down our results a lot more. Um, and you can click on, as well, the major headings over here. Um, if there's a specific publication that's going to have a lot of results, you can see over here that this, these might be really helpful, but that's kind of where I usually start. Um, and that's just kind of how to do a very basic search in EBSCO. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out to library at social-current.org.